Tony-nominated Broadway star and singer Laura Bell Bundy is out with new music. She just dropped her latest single, American Girl. When the American promises the land of the free, but I'm waiting for the bill for the air that I breathe. Why is it so hard being an American girl? It's one of the tracks off her upcoming new album, Women of Tomorrow. Broadway.com correspondent Charlie Cooper has the story for us. Thanks, Tamsin. With Broadway roles under her belt like Elle Woods and Glinda the Good, Laura Bell Bundy knows a thing or two about girl power. I caught up with her to speak about her new projects and her hope to return to the great bright way. Let's talk about Women of Tomorrow, your album that's coming out this spring. Talk to us a little bit about like what inspired your new music. I think my experience in the world as a woman, bumping my head up against the glass ceiling seeing other women um, around me uh, also uh, bump their head. And it's weird, I thought, if I've been living under a rock and I've not seen this for like 35 years of my life and now I'm seeing this and I, I'm horrified by it and I can't look away. And I took that as almost like a calling because I threw myself into understanding why we got to the place we did and I threw myself into women's history I was so I was overwhelmed with what I was learning and uncovering about the inequality I decided to make this album and uh and because I'm a songwriter all the songs came out in an original style well she dreamed a little dream ace the test arose with a diploma no time to rest got a job a flat Join the race, never tell this woman she should know her place. The, the music, the sound of it, sounds a little throwback in an ironic way. So I've taken the contrast of like this old school sort of sexy jazzy sound with a little bit of pop element and I'm, pi I'm putting very modern I ideas, modern lyrics, modern, modern thoughts around it. Strike it, ride it, let them fight it, get it. You go. Each of the songs on the album delves into a different issue that women are facing today. And, and Get a Girl You Go, which was the first to come out, while we're not necessarily delving into an issue, um, we're celebrating how far we've come, which also states we had to come far. American Girl deals with our sort of, you know, as women, we're sold this idea that when we grow up, we're gonna have that, we gotta have that picket fence and we gotta have that ring. We've gotta have that body that everybody has been advertising that is the body to have. We've gotta have those clothes that knows what she has. Yeah. And then we think that's what's gonna get us happiness. Then we get those things sometimes and we still wonder why we're unhappy. Why is it so hard being an American girl? Do you have any plans at all to return to Broadway when, once the curtains come back up? Oh, hell yeah, 100%. You know, I have a toddler. The last show, well, I guess the last show I did was, I did Sweet Charity in LA. And that was right, that was like three months before I got pregnant. Cause I was like, I just gotta get one more show in before I have a kid. <laughs> and now I've had the kid and he's in a, a good place. And I'm like, okay, I could do this again. And I'm gonna live in New Jersey. And so it's not gonna be like I'm uprooting my family. Right. So I, I really am ready. And I'm, I'm really, I'm excited uh, for that. And I'm planning on turning this album that I'm doing, I'm in the process of beginning to turn that into a musical of sorts. 